it's time to compute a Laplace transform. And this one, we have a Laplace transform of a constant. What is a Laplace transform? Well, its definition is given here. And all we're going to do is replace f of x by our f of x here, which is 4. I like this cursive L notation here, where 4 is going to go in for f of x. So it goes in these two places. And all I did was just take out f of x, put in 4. So now 4 can be moved to the front. It's a constant. Now there is some uh, detail in here. The domain of f, I'll just underline this. Domain of f is a set of all real numbers s such that the improper interval converges. Okay, so this needs to converge. So we'll worry about that once we take the limit at the uh, after we do our antiderivative. So what's our antiderivative? Well, I'm going to guess here. Exponential antiderivative is going to be itself, but there's going to be a chain rule happening. So if I check by taking the derivative e to the negative sx, so here's my check. This is e to the negative sx times negative s. So I have to unmultiply by negative s, which is multiply by 1 over negative s, or divide by negative s, however you want to think about it. And now we're going from 0 to infinity. So I'm going to write this as negative 4 over s as the constant times 1 over e to the sx. And I just use a negative to reciprocate here. Now before we plug in infinity, we're going to write this as limit b approaches infinity negative 4 over s, 1 over e to the sx from 0 to b. Now, my s looks like a 5. Just be careful it's an s. If I write my 5, I make sure it has some sharp corners right around here. So my 5 looks a bit different. But my s might look just like your 5. So be careful. All right, so we're going to plug in the b and the 0. And I forgot to write limit. Lim b approaches infinity. 1 over e to the bx minus 1 over e to the 0 times s, which will be e to the 0. e to the 0 is 1. So that's going to be a minus 1. 1 over e to the... Now, what variable are we plugging in? Are we taking the limit with respect to? Well, I've already said it, and I've already made a mistake. Fantastic. All right. So... Here, we're plugging in for the variable x. Those are going in for x. So, where did I make that mistake? This is a limit. Uh, you're plugging this in for the x variable. Oh no, what happened? So you're plugging it in for the x variable, and I plugged it in for the s variable. So this should be e to the s b, or e to the, and when we plug it in, s times infinity. Okay, looking at this, uh, when s is greater than 0, that means the reason I need s to be greater than 0 right here is because that will make this, what I circled, infinity. But 1 over infinity will be 0. So I need that to be, I need this to converge. And it's only going to converge if this goes to 0. 
So when s is greater than zero, I have positive times infinity, which is infinity. So one over e to the infinity. And that is one over infinity or zero minus one. And negative, now I have negative one times negative, which is positive four over s. And that will be my L, my Laplace of four is four over S.